And on this video, I'm gonna be showing you the AutoWell LCD mirror dash cam. This dash cam mounts directly to your existing mirror, so there's no need to remove the mirror that you have right now, but will really modernize your car. Now, before I show you all the features, I just wanna remind you that if you, got, if you wanna get your own AutoWell mirror LCD dash cam, I placed a link in the description down for you. Now, how does this mount? Well, this mirror is gonna mount with the included straps. Now, these straps are made out of silicone, so they're gonna withstand the temperature and the heat, and they're gonna wrap onto the mirror like this, so this slides over your mirror and then the straps retain this to your mirror. Now you'll notice that when the mirror is off, it looks and acts like a normal mirror. But when the dash cam is on, this entire thing is a screen, 12 inches in size so we can see quite a bit of detail. Now what about resolution? Well, the front camera sensor is able to record in 2.5K and AutoWell is using Sony sensors. So it should give us pretty good clarity both at day and at night. Now also in the front camera, it can actually turn and point in the direction where we want so we can aim it and get the best possible angle. Also, this mirror dash cam supports GPS. So they have included a GPS antenna and with a cable that's long enough so we can route it and hide it somewhere in our car. Now the rear camera can also record in high definition and the way to mount it, they provide two ways of doing it. You can use the included screws and put the screws directly to your trim, which is not my favorite way, or the included adhesive tape. You place adhesive tape, peel the back in, and then stick this to the back of your car, typically the rear windshield. Now also you'll notice that this can tilt so we can aim it, again, giving us control of getting the best possible angle. Now, this is the cable that is gonna connect the main camera to the rear camera, and it's quite long. It's approximately about 20 feet long, so this should reach the back of most cars. Also, you have a power adapter. This camera is powered by your cigarette lighter adapter, and this cable is about 11 feet long, so again, quite long. We can hide the cable and it won't be easily seen. So now let's move over to the car so I can show you how it looks when it's mounted and the rest of the features. After I show you the features, I'm also gonna show you actual driving footage, both at day and at night. And here's the AutoWell V17 Pro mirror dash cam. Now I'm gonna turn this on manually, but normally the dash cam will come on automatically when you turn on the car. I like to do this so we can see how fast it turns on. And also the little ding, 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 ding that you heard, this is one of the few, if not the only dash cam where I actually enjoy the sound that it makes when it turns on, very pleasant. And we're presented with the front view and we can change the view very easily by sliding our finger across the screen. This is the rear view and a split view. Now the split view is excellent for adjusting the position of the front camera. Remember we can point it in many directions and adjusting the position of the rear camera. Now the rear camera is mounted inside of my car, but it could potentially be mounted outside, typically by the license plate since it's waterproof. Now I wanna swipe again and that brings me back up to the front menu. But also if I tap the screen, I can do the same by pressing this little icon right here and that will switch views. On the left hand side, we also have a compass and our speed. Now a lot of people say, hey, you, you already have GPS. Why do you need a compass? I like to have a compass. There's times where I've been in places where there is no GPS reception as, and there is no way to get directions through Google or through Waze. So having a compass, I think is really nice, especially because my car didn't come with one. So I love that. Now on the right hand side, you have the time and the date. Now let's look at the actual settings of the dash cam. I'm gonna click right here and we can start off with the camera resolution. The front camera of this dash cam is driven by a 415 IMX Sony sensor, and that runs at 2.5K, and the rear runs at 1080p. Now we could select a lower resolution, 1080 by 1080, if you want it to fit more in your memory card. And like all dash cams, it supports loop recording. And that means that it segments the videos into little sections. So it's continuously recording, but it makes little clips. And we can select the length of the clip, one, three, or five minutes. I find that three minutes is so far the sweet spot that I have found in most mirror dash cams. And as far as the speaker, you can change the volume of the speaker or turn it off entirely. Like I said, this is one of the few dash cams that I actually enjoy the sound that it makes. And we can also change how long it takes before the screen completely turns off. 
When the screen completely turns off, this reverts back to a regular mirror, but it still records. So it's pretty neat because it allows you to be very stealthy and nobody will know that you have a dash cam unless they watch the vi this video. <laughs> Now you can also change the speed unit between miles and kilometers. We're in miles per hour where I am, so I'm going to leave that there. And we can also select from a couple of different languages. We can manually change the time and the date, but because this camera supports GPS, all of this was set automatically with, that, with the GPS. And for me to do that, I have to tell the, cam the dash cam what time zone I'm in. So I'm in UTC minus seven, and that set the camera time and date correctly. And this camera does support G sensor, so it has a collision sensor. It will sense when you get into a car crash and automatically lock and preserve that video for posterity. And you can always retrieve that. And you can change the sensitivity of that sen sensor. I like to have it in low. If it's too high, any little bump on the road is going to be triggering that. And the camera is thinking that you're crashing left to right. But what about parking monitor? I don't see any options for parking monitor. Well, this dash cam does support parking monitoring. However, you will have to hardwire it. And this is very common. Some dash cams require you to hardwire it because it needs to pull power from the car to monitor the car while it is parked. Once it's hardwired, it will display the option for you to enable the parking mode sensitivity. And you can also format the memory card entirely in one shot if you wanted to delete all evidence. Now this mirror dash cam supports memory cards all the way up to 128 gigabytes in size. It does come with one already, it comes with a 32 gigabyte size and that is more than enough. 32 gigabytes will be sufficient for most users. What about changing the view? Well, this is pretty neat. I can slide my finger up and down and I can adjust the view of what is being displayed on the screen. The entire view is being recorded. If we go back here, we can see how large the view is, but by sliding my finger up and down, I can control or find adjust what I actually want to see displayed on the mirror. Same thing for the rear. If I don't want to see a bunch of pavement and I want to see the cars, I'm going to slide this up. Now going back to the front menu, let's talk about the icons on the bottom. The first icon here can stop the recording or activate the recording manually. Now the next icon right here allows us to lock a video manually. Let's say we saw somebody throwing illegal fireworks and we wanted to have a record of them. The fireworks are not going to set off our dash cam, but if we wanted to capture them in the action, we click on the lock icon and now we have saved that video front and back. Also, what if you're having a top secret conversation that you don't want nobody else to know about? Well, you can turn off temporarily the microphone, so now there is no audio recording. And we can also adjust the brightness of the screen. I find that driving with this at full brightness doesn't bother me both at day and at night, but you could lower the brightness if desired. And finally, you can review the recordings directly in this mirror dash cam, and you can change between the front view, the rear view, and also the lock recordings. All right, now that I show you the features of the dash cam, let's go to the test drive so we can see how well it performs both at day and at night. And that completes the review of the AutoWell B17 Pro Mirror Dash Cam. A lot of options on this dash cam, very customizable. I think this is a great dash cam for anybody who is in the market for a mirror dash cam. So if you guys want to get your own, make sure you check out the link in the video down below so you can take a look at that further. And if you guys have any questions about the dash cam, also please put them down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I have a lot more cool product reviews. 
And as always, I'll see you on the next one.